Good morning, everyone. It is 3.30 a.m. on Saturday morning. I am here in front of my local Meyer because they put out sports cards every single Saturday morning. Um, they put out like the higher end stuff, so I'm hoping to get some select basketball today since it came out this week. Um, but we'll find out if I'm a clown or not for getting here at uh, 3.30 a.m. I won't get here any earlier though. I won't camp out overnight. Um, but just to show, here's the uh, parking lot. Yep, I'm the only one here, which is uh, kind of weird. Is there's usually like a group of nine or ten um, resellers that get here and they camp out early Friday morning and stay here all day Friday, so they can be the first one Saturday. But uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm liking that I'm the first one in line. But then also might not be good that I'm first in line. Someone might know something that I don't. So we'll see how it goes out. Okay, I'm kind of getting slightly worried because it's 4.16 now and there's still nobody here with me. But uh, this happened once before and then people started showing up at like 5.30ish. So still got a, like another hour before I really start getting worried because there's no way that I should be the only one here all right so I just talked to an employee and he said that they they do have cards um, but it's mostly baseball today so we're still gonna stick around here and see what we get I was really hoping for some select basketball but you know any cards is really fine today so if uh, there's some gypsy queen we'll pick up gypsy queen uh, hopefully it's not all Allen and Ginter because it's not for me, but uh, we'll have to see. Okay, also, it's 55 degrees, okay? Every other day this week that I've woken up early, it's already been like 68 degrees by 5 a.m. and like 100% humidity. So the one day that I actually come out and wait, it's freezing. Like... And I almost brought a sweatshirt. I looked at a sweatshirt right before I left the house and I was like, I'm not gonna need that because it's gonna get really humid and I'm gonna get really sweaty and gross within five minutes. And now look at me, I'm sitting out here it's in sandals and it is cold. All right guys, so we're done here at Meyer. And I definitely kind of feel like a clown. Um, they only had a few blasters of Allen and Ginter, uh, a couple select baseball, but they wanted $39 for the select baseball. Um, so I only ended up getting two fat packs of Donruss Elite. There we go. Right here, so I'm gonna drive home, crack these open, hopefully I get something good, but uh, pretty disappointed since I was uh, waiting for a long time, and this is like the first week that I've actually gotten up early to wait here in line, but what can you do? We got something, so let's get home and crack these open. Okay, everyone, we are back from Meyer, and this was the only thing that I got was these two Donruss Elite Packs. Um, they really didn't have anything else that I wanted to get. Um, like I said, they had some Allen and Ginter um, boxes, and that was pretty much it. So, not a great, you know, day for finding what I wanted for retail. But we did get these. Haven't opened these yet, so let's get into it. We'll open this one first. Um, I've seen some Don Russell Elite openings, um, not too many, and I personally like how the cards look. That's why I chose to get, um, you know, two of these packs, and I also didn't want to leave empty-handed after waiting for that long. I probably would have gotten hockey if that's all they had, just to open something after waiting for that long. So maybe we'll get something good in here. So you get, uh... It says look for exclusive pink parallels and you get how many cards per pack? Oh, 30 cards. 30 cards in this jumbo pack. So let's get into it. 
I do like how the cards are reflective. That's pretty nice. So maybe we'll hit, you know, a good rookie. So first we have Brandon Cooks. I do like the design a lot. Nick Bosa, you know, they're all kind of got that rainbow foil. Nice Patrick Mahomes. Joe Montana with the throwback. So they're all our older players uh, inserted through here. Aaron Rodgers. Jamal Adams from the Seahawks. Dalvin Cook. Derrick Henry. Not seeing any rookies yet. Jared Goff in the Lions uniform. George Kittle. Nice Joey B. Would have been nice to have last year's, you know, Joey B rookie. We got, uh, what is this? Mike Jasicki from the Dolphins. Quinnen Williams from the Jets. Here's our, is this a pink one? I think this is one of our pink par parallels. Von Miller, that dude's beast. All right, we got a, our first pink rookie, Tutu Atwell for the Los Angeles Rams. Um, still have college jerseys in this one. So I was kind of hoping that, you know, some players would have the NFL, but that's okay. And okay, we have a star status. JJ Watt insert. That's pretty cool. I definitely like how it, you know, how the, uh, it's really reflective. JJ Watt. There's the back there. I wonder. I, I need to look through the uh, the odds to see how common some of these inserts are, because I'm not familiar with the product. Marquise Brown, James Robinson, nice throwback. Brian Urlacher, one of my favorite players of all time. Saquon Barkley, Larry Fitzgerald, Jalen Ramsey, AJ Brown, Jonathan Taylor. T.J. Watt, J.J. Watt's brother, Zeke, Lamar Jackson, Aaron Donald, Devin White, and John Elway. So that is a look at the first pack. We'll go ahead and set the, the star status J.J. Watt to the side. So once we hit our recap... So I don't think there's, so there is um, a small section for odds. On average, non-base cards are included approximately three in every pack. Okay, so not, not anything uh, too in-depth about odds. So we'll just keep rolling here, see if we get anything good in this pack. Um, now I, you know, the blasters at my mire of this were 35 per blaster. Um, there was quite a few left, and I definitely didn't want to pay 35 per blaster at all. So I just picked up the fat packs. Miles Sanders, Tredavious White, Tyreek Hill, Chase Young, Matty Ice, Justin Jefferson, Taylor Heineke. Washington football team. T. Higgins, second year card. Uh, throwback Michael Strahan. That's pretty cool. We got uh, Devontae Adams. Nice Khalil Mack. One of my current favorite players. Sam Darnold in the Panthers uniform. It's kind of weird to see. Joey Bosa. Calvin Ridley, and this is definitely a lot of like veteran players. I don't think that you get many rookies in this, which is kind of disappointing. So I would like to see some rookies. There's a Tom Brady pink parallel. Okay, here we go. Kyle Pitts. That's a that's a pretty decent rookie. Not bad. In a pink parallel. 
and it is not numbered. All right, we have Colts Spellbound, Peyton Manning. The uh, the surface of the card is pretty pretty interesting. It's pretty cool. It's like got swirls in there. That's pretty nice. So we got the Spellbound, Peyton Manning, and I don't know why there's a giant N on there. I don't know if you can put all the cards together and it spells out something. That's kind of weird. Okay, it doesn't really give you any information. That's an interesting insert. Okay. Let's keep chugging along here. DeAndre Hopkins, Matthew Stafford, Tom Brady, Vaughn Miller, Julian Edelman, DJ Moore, Josh Jacobs, Rob Gronkowski, Drew Locke, nice Tua. That card looks nice with the Dolphins colors. Luke Keekley, recently retired. Drew Brees, Jerry Rice, and the Super Bowl reporter card. What does this mean? It says you and your child could win two tickets to Super Bowl. What is that 56? And your child could be the next Panini Super Bowl kid reporter at Super Bowl 56 opening night. So it says scan the QR code or go online and enter the access code for a chance you, for you and your child to win two tickets to the Super Bowl. Okay, so I guess this is part of the kid reporter like sweepstakes. Um, I'll be entering the code just for, you know, a chance to see if I win maybe. Um, but yeah, there you go. You have, uh, that is the Don Russ elite um honestly not too impressed uh I, I you know i think the base cards are nice here's a quick recap we got a peyton manning spellbound have you know kyle pitts rookie in the pink and the jj watt star status now i yeah i really don't know i don't think these are uh you know uncommon i think they're pretty common inserts but yeah, let me know what you think. Um, like I said, I'm not personally super, um, you know, impressed by the product, especially for the price. Um, I don't know if I would get it again. I think I, I'll just wait for, you know, 2021 Optic and um, 21 Chronicles. I don't know if that was coming off the whole time. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I don't think this product is for me, but it was definitely fun opening it and, and getting a look at you know what's inside so hope you guys enjoyed the video please hit like and subscribe like i said we're continuing to grow and i love engaging with the uh sports card collecting community and just hanging out and having a good time so thanks for joining me